everybody, it's Amy from the Run, Eat, Drink podcast at runeatdrink.net. This is the video podcast where you can accomplish, explore, and indulge right along with us. Today, we're in our hometown of Cape Coral, Florida to run the Freedom 5K. This race accomplishes a couple of different things for us. It's the second in our series of Run Disney Incredibles 5K, and it's the start of our half marathon training season in addition to celebrating the freedom that we have here in the United States of America. So let's run. Are you ready? It's flat, but I feel like that's gonna change. I'm just looking ahead. Uh, have we trained till we're, no. But this is the start of our training, so we're gonna get some today. Minnesota, the Ringling Run we did. I would agree. I, I think that was a steeper and taller bridge, but the view, watching the sunrise over your hometown out here on the 4th of July is awesome. Florida heat is no joke. Those bridges are no joke. So we've started our half marathon training season out with a bang. There are some fireworks later, so that's legit. But uh, yeah. if you want some hill work, come do this Freedom 5K here. Sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce in Cape Coral. It was actually fun, this finish, just to say thank you to everybody in the military, retired veterans serving now, and the families who make the sacrifices for us so that we can celebrate with this run and enjoy the freedom our country has to offer. So you know I had to check out a place whose tagline is eat, drink, and chill. Plus, they have one heck of a view down here at the Westin Resort. This is Gather. We have the corned beef hash, which has two different kinds of potatoes in it, a Yukon gold potato that is normally really creamy. I'll be interested to see if it's crispy also. And then we have the corned beef, peppers, onions, and a perfectly runny egg. You might have a clue already. Yum. Oh, 
That's just so perfect. It also has a mushroom gravy. You see kind of the gravy there? Yeah. Looks like a winner. That's a winner face. You can really taste the mushroom. The potatoes are creamy. The corned beef is salty. It's delicious. Delicious. Okay, so the hash is a winner here at Gather. <laughs> yes. But we tried something else. <laughs> Sorry. But we also tried the pancake, which is orange zest in it. Greek yogurt in the Greek batter. Greek yogurt in the batter. And the butter has, it's a lemon zest yuzu in the butter. Who knew that? It's lemony. It's really lemony. That butter. Mm. Well, that pancake's huge. It is. The video doesn't do this justice. It's also kind of thick. See that? I'm going without the maple syrup, although it has maple syrup. Mm. The lemon and the orange work so well together. The pancake has a different consistency because of the Greek yogurt. I think it's a little smoother. Oh, but it's just, it's, it's not as bready on the inside. Okay. But it's delicious. So. Is that regular whipped cream or? Yeah. I mean, I don't. Let me try it again. <laughs> is there coconut in there? I think there's coconut in there. More coconut whipped cream? Yeah. Coconut, citrus, Greek yogurt. This pancake is awesome. And what are we washing it down with this morning? Oh, well, I had some water. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And that's a wrap. <laughs> I have a local beer from Scotty's Beer Works here in the Cape. So this is their heaven. Coriander. And a little bit of orange flavor. And it's light. It's um, it's not so carbonated, it's a little bit smoother. But I think it's a perfect post-race beverage. So the Hefe is from Scotty's Beer Works in Cape Cool. Nice post-run beverage. And brunch from Gather? And brunch from Gather with the corned beef ash and the Greek yogurt pancake. It's all delicious. <laughs> that is a wrap for our Freedom 5K. This is the second in our trio of virtual 5Ks for the Run Disney Incredible Race Series this summer, the Running Shorts. This was a beautiful run. It was a challenging run because of the bridges. It was such a friendly run with, with people cheering you on in the crowd. If you have a chance to come out in your community and support veterans, police, fire, any community organization at a great race like this, you should definitely do it. This is the Run, Eat, Drink podcast. I'm Amy from runeatdrink.net. Follow us on Twitter at runeatdrinkpod or on Instagram or Facebook at runeatdrinkpodcast. Let us know where we should accomplish, explore, 
and indulge along with you. And don't forget, please find us on iTunes, rate us and review us. That's how we can build a community around running, eating, and drinking together.